Hi, welcome to Distinti's World Number 7. We're going to talk about the greatest crime in the history of humanity. If people were being systematically robbed, dehumanized, and exterminated, there would be a national outrage, a call to action, a crusade would be launched to end the inhumanity. But what about aging? It robs us of our youth, our strength, our memories, our independence. It even robs us of our loved ones. It, dehumani it dehumanizes us until it finally kills us. And because it can you can't take it with you, it robs you of everything you have. And you can't escape. You can be liberated from a death camp or a gulag, but there's no such hope for aging. Even worse, this is the worst part. Because humanity loses its wisest and most experienced people, the human race remains inexperienced and doomed to repeat history all over again. There's a famous person who said, the problem with life is by the time you figure it all out, you die. And when despots like Adolf Hitler give their fiery speeches that electrify people into going off, into committing atrocities, um, ask yourself a question. If you have an audience where a despot gives a fiery propaganda speech that's of average age 40 years, let's say, and you compare that to, let's say, you had an average audience age of 4,000 years, or even 40,000 years. Uh, what do you think is going to be the difference in the result? I think people that have been around for 40,000 or 4,000 years are more likely to say, yeah, we've heard that stuff before. Yeah, we're not going to be taken by that nonsense again. Okay, so, and then if you look at World War I, now the young people back in World War I are a lot different than the young people today. Okay. Um, because there was no internet, there was no like global knowledge base, if you will. And so when your whole outlook in the world is based on the, the, the propaganda that your government gives you, there, there are six basic appeals that were made uh, to, to recruit men to fight, young men to fight in World War I. Here's a Canadian enlistment poster, and they give you patriotism, job career, adventure, challenge, social status travel and miscellaneous to entice people. It was an adventure to go off and murder your fellow man. And they always tell you that the other guys are idiots and the war will only last a few months. We'll kick their butts. Yeah, who's not against kicking somebody else's butt? And volunteers were a significant portion of the initial fighting force in World War I. But now, you know, if your average life's age of the people that are looking at this poster are 4,000 years old, and they've like been through this before, survived the previous stupidity of humanity, they're more likely to say, yeah, yeah, we've heard that before. And scientists have stated that if they could turn off the biological clock, there's no reason why the human lifespan could not reach 100 to 200,000 years. So it's my humblest belief that if we could prevent the loss of human wisdom and experience from the atrocities of aging, that we may be able to free humanity from the atrocities that we keep repeating because there are too few survivors of the previous atrocities to make a difference in public opinion. And perhaps we could stop the broken record of history repeating itself. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your donations. If you want to donate, go to my website. There's a donate button. Believe me, my website's vastly outdated. 